Welcome to a new video of my new Unity MMORPG tutorial series and in this lecture we will create the encryption file and yeah a few files from our package parser. In the last lecture we have created the connection handler base and yeah, before we start with the package parser, we will create our encryption. We need later for some encryption in the server and yeah, in the client maybe. And yeah, that's why we put it in our Yukinet. And for this, we have to create new class. And we will call this class encrypt. So we will use we will use bcrypt, and so we say public class encryption, and yeah, then we can start with some functions, and I will start with public static bring hash password bring password okay and um, we all the only thing we need is to return bcrypt dot net dot bcrypt dot hash password and we say password So we don't need to create some stuff like uh, generate salt and so on because all salt um, will generate by bcrypt. Yeah. And as next we need to say public static bool validate password string password and string correct hash and the correct hash would be the hash out of the database so we say return bcrypt dot net dot bcrypt dot verify and then we say password correct hash and yeah that's all we need for our for encryption and yeah if you have any questions uh, or something like this um, to understand a little bit more about the encryption you can join my discord server and yeah let me know if you have problems and now we can start with a um, with a few things from the package parser so we create a new folder in our yukinet we will call it package parser because we put everything uh, what we need for the package parser in this folder and yeah let's cr uh, start with our uh, package base um, so we uh, create a public abstract class packet base because this would be our base for all yeah for all package packages and we say communication package uh, say id so we get the id we created in the package types and say get and then we need to create a constructor like uh, package base and we say communication package id and then we have to declare it is um, this id is equal to id okay and yeah now we can create a public um, abstract void serialized two stream um so we create our bin binary writer 
and we have to add namespace and it's system io and we say writer um this is the function we are used to put everything to the stream and so we need to create another abstract void and this would be deserialized from stream so we say our binary binary reader reader and this is for creating the yeah fr from deserialize the str strings or stuff we are sent to the stream we need to read out and this would be this function and now we create some attribute so we have to use attribute usage and we say attribute targets and this would be now class and then we have to say allow multiple equals to false because we don't want that you can send or um yeah that you can send more than one um package um and yeah so you have only one one package um it's for um how can i say it's for reducing the security less and so hacker would have some problems to to get there to get your stuff um so we say package type attribute and attribute then we can say public communication package package type and we say get then we have to say have to write public package the type attribute communication package type then we use lumba expression package type is type okay so if you have any questions um about this step you can join also my discord server and i can tell you a little bit more it's because we don't want uh, that th uh, this attributes um, can be sent multiple times. So you, ca you can't um, generate package types uh, on your own and send it to the server uh, with other th stuff. So the, s uh, the client will execute some bad code so that's why we did this one and now uh, we create a new class and we call it i package father and we don't need a class we will say public interface get a small interface and it would be package base pass package from stream and we need also add the binary binary um yeah the reader and then we say void pass package we say package base package and binary writer so this is for writing the stuff to the server and yeah now we have few things from the package parser and i guess we will create or we will create 
the rest of the package parallel with the package implementation in another video. So I will stop this video now and thank you for watching us in the next video.